plates. Chrysler 200, gray in color. When Wauwatosa police last week started a pursuit with a driver who refused to pull over, they didn't know what to expect. The chase ended minutes later. Crash, crash, crash. In a crash, and then foot chase in Milwaukee. I'm gonna chase you, stop, stop. 12 News just obtained the body camera footage showing two men being arrested. It's then police discovered their car was full of stolen mail and learned at least some of it was from a blue mailbox on North Avenue near Wauwatosa City Hall. Well, Wauwatosa police are still investigating how the men obtained the key they used to steal the mail, opening this mailbox here. But those so-called arrow keys can be used to open any blue mailbox in the zip code. And it doesn't stop there. Those same arrow keys give mail carriers access to to community mailboxes like those in apartment buildings. It's a growing problem nationwide. Our Hearst sister station in Cincinnati recently highlighted mail theft using the stolen keys after a letter carrier there was robbed of his arrow key. He's got my scanner. My scanner just scans packages. Right. He can't do nothing with that. That's but he's got my key to, to my key keeper to, to the, my apartment building. And that's a universal key. The Postal Inspection Service says thieves are targeting personal checks, able to steal the bank account information or even wash the pen ink off and change the payee and amounts. The stolen checks are also sold in bulk on the dark web. It has even the Postal Service advising caution. The main tip uh, regarding the collection boxes is to not deposit mail inside the collection boxes after the last posted collection time. What are you mailing out these days? Oh, just bills. Yeah, some checks in the bills. Yeah. Pat Geist uses that <laughs> box that was targeted in Wauwatosa almost weekly, but won't anymore. Nice to know. Does that concern you? Yeah, it does. Maybe I'll go right to the post office. <laughs> I can do that too. And take it inside. Yeah. In Wauwatosa, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. According to the Postal Inspection Service, theft of even a single piece of mail is a federal crime and can result in five years in prison and up to $250,000 in fines.